Eastman, you've learned to straddle two worlds, music of the past and music of the future. Music never stands still. It is a revolutionary force. Each generation creates its own anthems, its own sounds, articulates its own stories. If Alexander Hamilton can become the inspiration of a hip-hop musical, then anything is possible. <laughs> and for you, anything is possible. You are artists. You will help us shape a version of the world that touches all of us. Being a musician is, I believe, one of the most fulfilling things in the world. But the music career is a challenging one. It is competitive. You know this, you have always known it. But remember also that you are supremely prepared to deal with any challenge. You have been pushed farther than you ever imagined, you have worked harder than you ever dreamed, and I hope for every one of you, at least once, everything came together in that way for that pure musical magic, that moment of artistic excellence. You now know what it takes to achieve excellence and you can apply that to everything you do in the rest of your life. Fear is never a good reason to not do something. This has been said to me repeatedly throughout my time at Eastman. Fear is a powerful and at times overwhelming emotion. It is the looming shadow that governs the decisions we make every day. Fear of judgment, fear of not being accepted, fear of failure. I knew that coming to Eastman would help me develop my musicianship and fuel my love and passion for music. However, I could not have predicted the personal growth that being at Eastman would inspire. Over the last four years, Eastman has undoubtedly helped me overcome my fears and strive for excellence. As much as our weaknesses do not define us, our failures do not either. The most we can ask of ourselves is to have the courage to try. We must remember that while life is short, it can also feel very long. Too long if lived in constant fear and yet too short to fit in all of the things we wished we had the courage to do. So, class of 2016, we better get started. I'm here today to tell you, as you leave this wonderful, inspiring place, that this stage of your life as a student is over, and the next stage of your life as a student is just beginning. And this is the fun part, because you get to be both the teacher and the student. Your evolving years on your own are just beginning. Long ago, I learned about myself that it ain't about the destination, it's about the journey. The next job you get is not going to be your last job. Serendipity, just learning things in odd places or circumstances, is so important. And so is wandering. You never know what's around the next corner that might be something special. Don't be afraid if your next step takes you right into the abyss, you've got the tools to adapt. Don't be afraid to admit when you don't know something. Nobody knows everything and be suspicious if they act like they do. Maybe the most important thing I have to tell you today is this. Get comfortable with the idea of being uncomfortable. Continue to put yourself in the path of inspiration your own wonderful life in music has already started, but honestly, you've just taken some baby steps. Now you need folks who are farther down the path to inspire you to keep pushing you forward. I promise your path won't be straight. There will be moments when you'll be rushing forward and it'll feel glorious. There will be moments when you feel stopped, maybe stuck. And yes, there will be moments when you get knocked back, maybe even walloped. So when you're in the middle of one of those bad moments, just look back and remember how excited you were when you got that letter that you had been accepted at the Eastman School of Music. You've been blessed with talent, intelligence, good instincts. I'm sure your time here has unlocked those things in ways you never dreamed of.